Okay, basically we are so familiar with our outer human body. We know so much about our outer human body. Today we are going to dive into our inner human body to understand it much more better and that's going to be so much fun. Okay, so yeah. But before starting this big journey, I have a small question. Like what is our body made up of? Yes, it's made up of cells and cells are the basic fundamental unit of life. We have billions and trillions of cells present in our body. In fact, every living organism has cells into them. Okay, cells give us structure, cells give us, uh, you know, color to our body and that's very important. We all know the cycle that cells make up tissue, tissue make up an organ, organ make up an organ system and organ system make up an organism like you and me. But today we are going to talk about an interesting organ system and that is our digestive system. So that's gonna be so interesting. Basically it's a simple mechanism you know present in our body. But before that, let me tell you what the word digestion even means. Yes, digestion means breaking down of food particles into very, very simpler form to convert them into an energy to generate energy. Hang here. Okay, we all know that digestion starts from our mouth. So today I'm going to show you that. So that's our tongue. You can see the tongue. It's very, very useful for us. Okay, even the strongest muscle is present in our tongue. And, uh, you know, tongue, you know, help us in many activities such as talking, eating, and even swallowing food. Okay. Um, but the surface of the tongue looks so much rough. And that is because you can see so much of bumps here. And they are called papillae. Papillae contains so many taste buds in, inside them. And these taste buds make tasting possible. Without these taste buds, we cannot just even thought about the word tasting. Okay. We, this is so important for us. So we have 10,000 taste buds in our mouth. And yeah. But we have these many taste buds and they only help us in tasting five different tastes. Sour, sweet, salty, bitter, umami. Okay. But why is that? Okay, I will tell you a bit later. But did you understand, you know, did you observe the pattern uh, which is formed by the papillae? And this pattern, just like fingerprint, is unique for everyone. Everyone has their different pattern forming on their tongue and with the help of these papillae. In fact, every, you know, every food we eat are the combination of these five different tastes. Do you know when we eat our food, our teeth starts crushing them into smaller and smaller particles and these smaller particles attach themselves to the taste buds and the taste buds can generate an electric signals and these signals is carried out to our brain and the brain is activated and we get the word taste. Okay. Okay, but... What is the relationship between electricity and our brain? Okay, I will tell you a bit later about this. Okay, uh, do you know like uh, the sloshy thing? Did you observe the sloshy thing in your mouth? And that is saliva. Saliva is also, the, you know, very, very extremely important for us. It's, it's even, yeah, it's the, it is also a thing which, you know, which make uh, tasting possible without them, without the saliva mixing with the, you know, with the food particles, they cannot be interrupted with the taste buds and tasting would not be possible. So, yeah, saliva also help also fight with the germs entering our, the harmful germs entering our body and saliva also help us in digestion this magical liquid is very important for us and therefore we an average adult human produces 26000 liters of saliva in his lifetime and yeah this is enough to fill two you know two swimming pools 
but that sounds yuck okay we don't want to do that okay and you know uh, when we take in our take the put from our uh, mouth the tongue also plays again an important role that is you know the tongue has so many ridges inside it and these ridges you know grab the food and make them move around so that they can reach the teeth and just teeth can crush them and you know stuck it to the saliva and taste buds and we get the taste and we finally swallow our food okay but i have a small question like there are so many teeth teeth we have so many uh, teeth but the only job of teeth is crushing the food but why when the job of these teeth are only one then why do we have these many teeth in our mouth yeah that is because these there are five different kind of teeth and these five different kind of teeth have, have their own specific function to perform they have their own jobs to do and we have five different kind of teeth they are incisors okay so first one is incisors have you ever observed eating an apple which teeth does you use yes the front teeth of course and these front teeth are called incisors incisors are very important teeth for us uh, do you observe did you observe any cow eating the grass yes it's very important teeth for cows to chew the grass okay we have you know four on the upper jaw four incisors on the upper jaw and four on the lower jaw jaw is nothing but uh, which you know keeps our teeth in that specific uh, position and holds our teeth okay we have okay we have four in the upper jaw and four in the lower jaw it also help us in eating big uh, you know big slices of any slush slushy thing okay but why what is the teeth you know sitting big sitting aside to the incisors yes they are canals but they look so sharp yes they, the canals are so sharp and have you observed the side teeth of an a, a tiger yes even dogs have canals to you know eat the you know eat the meat of other animals they are very very use canals are basically very very useful for animals and we also use them in cutting you know so much hard things canals okay moving on to we have uh, two on the upper jaw and two on the lower jaw you can see there and next to the canals we have premolars okay these are actually the back side teeth we have three back side teeth and they are also important for us premolars we have four on the upper jaw and four on the lower jaw actually these premolars hold the food that we eat and uh, crush them they you know they the food which we eat is stuck to stuck to premolars and they have this round shaped size teeth so these are also very important for us and then beside premolars we have molars and okay so that is the four basic teeth we have and the last one is wisdom teeth but why is this teeth called wisdom teeth do they have wisdom in them wisdom in them no they are, they don't have wisdom in them actually they come in the age of 18 when we have lots of lots of wisdom in us and you know we are so capable for doing so many important things so many responsible jobs and they comes when our wisdom you know gets higher and higher when we grow higher and higher okay so yeah uh, actually we have 32 total total teeth 16 on the upper jaw and 17 16 on the lower jaw okay um do you know that uh, teeth are very useful for crushing and these teeth crush the particle food particles and you know get on to a stage where teeth are crushed moving on to the next stage of digestion i know that you have learned everything about our mouth you now our mouth is very basic unit of digestion okay moving on to the next thing you already know about the word digestion so the food that we swallow inside uh, you know swallow inside our body 
and this foot goes through esophagus. Esophagus is again very important pipe for the foot to move and these, these, this esophagus, you know, with the help of their muscles, push the foot inside our body and it's a very important pipe. But there's again an interesting thing about beside the esophagus. Beside the esophagus, we have the windpipe and windpipe is very, you know, we again have a, a organ called epidomics and these epidomics help the fur to do not go to the you know, windpipe. They, pro they prevent them on going to windpipe, uh, you know, like, Sometimes it happens when we you drink food, uh, drink you know, drink water, and we laugh. And epidomics does not work. It's you know does not do its job correctly by mistakenly, and the food goes into the windpipe, and then we cough and you know take out the food from our windpipe. Okay. And this, you know, stops the food from going the going to windpipe. Okay. Now, esophagus push. You know, esophagus has you know very very interesting muscle in them which push the food inside the stomach and stomach again has so much to do. You know, what you can see that stomach applies force to the food and also release so many acids. You know, so many juices. There's one important juice which you have to learn is gastric juice. Stomach release this gas gastric juice which also contain an acid like hydrochloric acid. But if we have our if we have acid in our stomach, why don't it burn our stomach? Yes, because there's a protective layer of mu mucus and that prevent you know that is prevent that prevent the gastric juice to you know touch attack to our stomach and stomach is protracted okay these gastric juice basically uh, do so many jobs actually they uh, you know turn out our food particles into a liquid form into a liquid form and uh, so that that would be so easier to you know go for the further digestion for it to happen in further digestion okay this gastric juice is very important for stomach to, stomach to release that we produces in a day we produces 26 liter of glass plastic juice in a whole day okay and it takes uh, like a uh, five to eight hours to you know uh, come to a liquid form come for the further further digestion uh, it's probably probably so liquidy form and then it moves all the way to your intestines and what do we mean by these and actually we have two intestines in our body and these are small intestine and the large intestine you know these intestines are very very you know very important for us actually basically we have two intestine of course small intestine and the large intestine small intestine is called the small intestine because it's so thin you know it's basically so thin and therefore it's called the small intestine and looking at large intestine it's actually so you know so puffy and fat so therefore it's called the large intestine but technologically small intestine is very very much longer than the large intestine and the average height of the small intestine is 22 feet and uh, the uh, you know the height of the large intestine is only five feet okay you can just compare them and you know they that's so large and the small intestine is combined and you know you know plays in a very cool manner so that it would not just get there here and there fuzzy and muzzy and yeah the food and the stomach goes through the small intestine and these small intestine also you know uh, release some very important juice like bile juice and these juices are released with pancreas and liver so these are again the important for us and these these juices make them are fed into very very smaller 
pa- smaller you know smaller particles make them into a liquid liquid sort of form and be- that's again an interesting thing you know when these juices come together and interact with our food we form five different kind of energy they are carbohydrates fats minerals vitamins and amino acid and these five kinds of energy are very very important for our body it's very important basically these are the five energy which we are talking about which we need which we need actually this whole process of digestion is basically to need these five kinds of energy every food we eat is converted into these five five energy and yeah okay and the energy which we were talking about is then is then gone to our large intestine and our large intestine actually separates our uh, you know very energy and the waste materials you know where our energy goes yes our energy mixes with the blood and go all you know it's supplied to all parts of our body to get energy and we just get activated and so that's happening okay the waste particles where do they go and yeah they form poop and goes to the rectum rectum is again a very important part the you know the waste products uh, the waste products of our food is stored in rectum and when it's full it goes through our anus and yeah that is what digestion is and i hope you have learned so much and thank you for watching my video if you learned you if you learned the digestive system uh, don't forget to comment down below bye bye meet you in the next video